Hi, I'm with Zach Willoughby from Duke Source for Sports. We're talking a little bit about goalie sticks. We want to find out exactly how you size them. We know we got lots of different materials, just like out player sticks these days. We got the wood. We're now getting into the composite form of sticks. Um, once you decide what kind of stick you want to use, how do we figure out what's the right size for us? Sure, Mike. Um, essentially, goalie sticks are coming anywhere from wood, foam core, and up into the composite. Composite, of course, being uh, the higher end geared towards increased performance, lighter weight, uh, better on vibration. Uh, depending on how many times a week will help you find the right goal stick and in, in that uh, uh, what's better performance will help you justify the cost. Right. Uh, essentially finding the right uh, size of goal stick is, is open to the end user. Uh, different styles of, in the position allow for different lengths of sticks. Generally speaking, uh, people that are more apt to do a butterfly right. are going to be a little wider in their stance, which might want a shorter paddle to the stick so they can get more up and over, okay. as well do an easier transition to a paddle down. Uh, whereas more old school, say traditional stand-up, would want a longer paddle with not as much of an open face curve, so they're a little more square to the shooter, pucks cl uh, sticks clearly on the ice, and they can control the rebounds while being more square. Uh, so basically it's open to interpretation, but if you are playing the butterfly position, uh, generally you'll look to have a little bit of a shorter paddle to follow the NHL suit. So definitely just, it's all down to feel and make sure you pick the right stick that suits your style of play. Absolutely. Perfect. Once again, I'm with Zach Willoughby from Duke Source for Sports. Make sure you check out their goaltending section sometime the next time you need a stick.